Angry Birds. I'm sure you've heard of it. If not, you're literally a fetus. So when I heard about Rovio's decision to remove Angry Birds Classic from the Google Play Store, it felt as if pieces of my childhood were being deleted. But Angry Birds is a game. I make games. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I can do this. I can remake Angry Birds to reclaim my childhood back from corporate greed trying to take it away. It's 2009, Angry Birds are all the rage, and I'm seven years old. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where my life peaked. This is where I began learning Scratch, and Scratch has come a long way since then. Remakes of Angry Birds in Scratch in 2023 are flourishing, and also really fun and amazing. If other people born after 2009 are the same age I was now when I made my first game in Scratch, is terrifying. Wait, I'm terrified? I'm 20, and I'm terrified of being too old. People will remember how much they love Angry Birds, and the franchise will be saved, right? Too slow, too fast. This is Paul. Say hi to Paul the Ball. Why Paul the Ball of Wall? Here, take some friends with you too. Repurposing this cannon code produces a slingshot. No one likes us though. This sucks. There are no birds and they're not angry. It's just a cannon. Do I know how to make it look like not a cannon? No. No, no, of course not. That'd be way too easy. Helen? I found some great 3D models to fit the Angry Birds theme. Bird, pigs, and TNT should do the trick. The skybox and grass are can be lifted right from the original game too and created as a skybox in the background. We do need the wooden and ice planks we can hit instead of the picks though. So where do they come from? Well, the blocks I understand. We can just use the default cube and then long in it a bit. How do we add the wood texture? After you make it look like wood? Pixelia is an amazing free resource to do this. You can search for what you want and apply it in unity to the sides of the block, giving it the right colors. It looks very flat though, and that's because as it turns out, wood is flat IRL. We can replicate this with normal maps, which fake bumps and textures on the surface by reflecting light differently, giving the illusion of depth. For wood this works amazingly, but for the thin ice it looks, well, kind of just like blue wood which sucks because ice and wood don't have the same textures, the same light properties, transparenciness and stuff, etc. Who knew, right? Luckily for me the internet is a big old place and some nice can be found in the same place as the birds. Giant magenta wood. Oh my god. A child is coming now. Building the structures is next, and you would think you'd just chop the woods and the pigs and scene together, press play, shoot them. No. That would be nice, wouldn't it? This is because they could just fall over by themselves without any birds hitting them, which is extremely boring. And this is all because I didn't build the levels correctly with flat surfaces and such. And I don't want to fix that the easy way, so let's fix it the hard way because it's more fun. Using code, we can group everything in a structure together, freeze it until a bird has hit them, at which point physics is turned back on for everything in the structure and it just... Ooh, it just explodes all for some part. It's not perfect, but it works. So it's perfect enough. This iconic trajectory line from Angry Birds is easy. Every frame we pause, take a copy of the bird, dip, see where it goes, draw it with the line, and then play again. This approach works amazingly, other than the times it doesn't. I don't know why. And it, this has to work. It's the main mechanic in Angry Birds. Why are we doing this? This is like, there's, a, there's better remakes out there already anyway. There's a 4K one and it's so much better than anything I could do. Maybe I should just stop. I don't know anything about 3D. I'm faking all of this with AI and pre-made code. I'm cheating and I don't know what I'm doing. I need a break. I took a long trip up to Angry Birds Adventure Golf, and I'd love to recommend it there. It was loads of fun, there was loads of references and inventive courses, and a fresh Prince of Bel Air was playing on a projected wall for some reason. But the day after I bought my tickets, it closed down forever. How is this happening to my favourite childhood game? I was lucky enough to go with my partner, but no one else my age was there at all. Why did we go wrong? We all loved this game growing up, and now it's nothing but a fading memory for most. Am I too old for this? Am I too old to be enjoying this game at all anymore? This question's keeping me up at night. Maybe I should just grow up, move on like everyone else, and not just stop loving Angry Birds, but gaming, making games too. Find a real job everyone keeps telling me to get. I'm trying so hard, but failing at every opportunity. I'm all by myself. Maybe this remake's all that's keeping me from bankruptcy too. After fixing a few more tiny bugs in the slingshot code, <laughs> I want to build one truly great 3D level. Starting with some trees, I place them around the shooting zone with some random variations in height, size, rotation, just to liven things up a bit and not feel like they just copy and pasted the same object, which I did do, but I also made some slightly different shades of green by manually editing the textures we found earlier using a sprite, and I think it looks pretty good, especially with the sun now as well. Next comes the structure with Sir Pig here. Look how happy he is, he's just jumping, he just wants to be undeleted from the app store, Rovio, you bot. So you could hit them now, but where's the impact, the anticipation? BAM! Some explosion or something cool happens. This is anticlimactic currently. You should never build up the anticipation of something happening and then just cut- Particles. The cannon code also came with some shooting star particles which look amazing, so I decided to adapt these by changing the star sprites into a new pig one. So when the pig explodes, 
More pigs go everywhere, and it's a whole thing. More pigs, more ball, more better ball, better. What? This didn't really have the impact I was looking for though. It still feels quite flat. Luckily for us, there's a few more polishing techniques that you'd want to apply too in your game. Number one, the whole idea is just wrong. In the original Anger Rose, there's a huge explosion. So let's have a huge explosion. To really sell the impact of a huge explosion, we also need to have a huge outward force bah, do floatings everywhere, <laughs> which we can then also apply to the TNT. Crazy mentalist, but who cares? This is fun now. The final just to sell things even more, and I highly recommend you use in your games, is Screen Shake. Additional dust particles can also be made when the bird hits anything at all. That's kind of a smaller impact. This can go quite wrong quite quickly. So I don't know if I want to keep it. Just like the squash and scratch effect, which uh, definitely does what it should. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what this is. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, I've done it before perfectly well in the past. 3D breaks everything. <laughs> this is so silly. What am I doing with my life? Angry Birds is gone. I'm not helping. This sucks. During this project though, I've had to go back and play Angry Birds many times to learn how to remake it, and every time I had the biggest grin on my face. If I look back to that day of golf again, I may not have seen people my age, but I did see children beaming with my same joy. It's incredibly inspiring to see the new generation still fall in love with the same franchise I did a decade ago. All because a team of three uni students like myself made a lot of people very happy with their extremely angry birds. One Matilda at a time. I love you. <laughs>